Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be writing the most popular hair growth techniques. <laughs> and you guys know I've tried everything. I had a whole series on my channel when I was literally just trying out different hair growth techniques, different DIYs and stuff like that. And if you guys want me to bring that back, I definitely can. But yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and keep on watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, let's hop right into it. So starting off strong, biotin. Biotin was all the rage. A lot of people love taking biotin orally. Um, I, for one, I have to give biotin a three. Three out of 10, I'm gonna give biotin a three out of 10 because it broke out my skin. And I know you're supposed to, to drink more water with biotin and all that stuff. I don't know, but I just didn't really have the best experience taking it orally. Now, biotin, the liquid form where you can like put it on your scalp and stuff. I have biotin in most of my hair growth oils um, and 10 out of 10, like biotin, if you can like find a way to, to get the liquid biotin and put it in your scalp. 10 out of 10. We have it in our Sheba Infused Hair Growth Oil. Um, and we also have it in our Maximum Strength Hair Growth Oil. 10 out of 10. It's crazy. Oh, and speaking of our hair growth oils and my hair products, we are having a Pride Month sale right now. So 30% off the entire site. Use the code PRIDE23 and take advantage of that coupon code, y'all. The next one I'm going to talk about is rice water. You should, if you know me, <laughs> You should already know how I feel about rice water. 10 out of 10. Um, I absolutely love rice water. I've been doing it since like 2016. Um, I have my rice water deep conditioner. I have my rice water rinse. Um, I have a whole rice water line, black rice water line on um, MaryMHampton.com. If you want to check out any of the products. But, but ever since I found out about it and how amazing it was, for um, this specific tribe, I was like, yes, because those women, they had hair down to their knees. And I was like, this is it. Like, this is it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I tried it. I absolutely loved it. Like, I just feel like the nutrition, some on nutrition, I just feel like the nutrition um, that is inside of the rice. It just is really, really great. Um, I think it's a really great protein treatment. So it strengthens your hair. I love it. 10 out of 10. Next, trimming your hair every three months. Now, I'm going to give this a five um, because I think trimming your hair too frequently can actually... Um, just be like taking away good hair. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't, you shouldn't have to trim it as frequently as that unless you have damaged hair. So if you have healthy hair that's growing and you look at your ends and your ends aren't splitting, they aren't, they don't have knots and your stuff. ends look good. They aren't see-through. Why are you cutting off your good hair just because you want to trim every three months? Like it doesn't make any sense. It isn't logical thinking. Okay. So for me, I give it a five. Um, I just trim my hair when I find it to be necessary to trim, which is like, I don't know, a couple of times a year. So like if I straighten my hair, I'll trim my hair. If I look at it and be like, okay, it needs a trim, I'll do it. And I just think it's a, a sight type of thing. Like just use your common sense and look at your ends and see if it actually needs it. If not, then I think you, you could possibly be overdoing it. Okay. All right, so the next technique is cloves for hair growth. And I actually do like cloves. I will give it a 7 out of 10, only because I personally haven't been like super consistent with using cloves or clove water on my hair or anything like that. But I do like it, and I know some people actually like live by it. So 7 out of 10. All right, so the next one is scalp massages. 1 million out of 10 like scalp massages first of all it feels amazing like why wouldn't you want to do it it feels absolutely amazing um i'm big on like oiling my scalp and um massaging my scalp every single night 
not a night goes by that I don't take the time out to do that for like 10 minutes before I go to sleep. It feels amazing. I think it actually even helps me fall asleep faster. And if you can got if you got somebody else to do it for you, that's even better. Like it gets your significant other or something like, hey babe, can you give me a scalp massage? Feels even better. Like it's just great and it stimulates the blood flow in your scalp and helps with hair growth. So it's like all pros, like no cons, all pros. I like right, So the next one is the inversion method. Okay, so the inversion method, if you've never heard of it, it's basically just like flipping your head over or like laying on the couch or something and flipping your head and um, massaging your scalp that way. Now, this can be controver controversial, a controversial thing because some people say that they get really bad headaches from doing it. You're not supposed to do it certain, like you can only do it like a couple of days in a row and then not, not for the rest of the month. Like it's a whole bunch of rules to it. I, for one, I like doing it from time to time. I don't do it like all the time because like I said, it could be dangerous. I know pregnant women don't supposed to do it. Or if you have any type of ailments, you're not supposed to do it. So it's just like something that I, pro I probably shouldn't be recommending on my channel and stuff like that. But personally, I do like doing it from time to time. So I'll give it a... All right. So the next one is to avoid heat all together. Okay. I give it a six out of 10. Um, I give it a six out of 10 only because I personally love straightening my hair. <laughs> um, but it actually should be a 10 out of 10 because I know how beneficial it is when you just avoid heat and, um, don't use heat consistently on your hair. So it should be a 10 out of 10. But for me personally, I like straightening my hair from time to time. And every time I straighten my hair, I get people in my comments, how often do you straighten your hair? I don't even want to say because it's more than I actually should. Like when it's the cooler months, like when it's the winter months, I stay with straight hair. Y'all will always see me with a straight hairstyle in the cooler months. But, you know, since it's hot, I'll, you know, do a style like this or something to wear my curly hair or whatever the case may be. But I love, I love it. I love it. But still, six out of ten. All right. So the next one we're going to talk about is my favorite. So you already know that's going to be a ten. Shebe powder. I love, 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 love Shebe powder. I love using it um, in my deep conditioners. I love Shebe oil. I have a Shebe infused hair growth oil on MaryPanson.com. Um, I'm like very, very like, I love Shebe. Um, it like really, really strengthens your hair. Um, and if you use the oil, like it helps with that. It helps with hair growth since it's infused. You don't supposed to put Shebe on your scalp, like the powder form. So I have an infused oil, but I love using the powder form on like the length of my hair. I feel like it really, really strengthens it. It helps with like length retention since your hair is so strong. It's just so many benefits to it. And I really, really like it. So 10 out of 10, of course. But yeah, I can think of so many more, but this video is getting long, so we're going to cut it off here. If you guys want a part two, let me know. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give me a huge thumbs up if you did. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Hit the bell so notifications come straight to your phone. You can follow me on any of my social media at Mary J. Hampton at MH Hair Care. And you can shop MaryMHampton.com for all of your hair growth needs. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.